Hi, this is Bukhari from Bukhari Works. Today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful pixel perfect arrows for the for your web projects or for your image slider. So in open Photoshop CS6 file new I'm going to create a file the width and height will be 100 pixels resolution would be 72 pixel and it would be background would be transparent press ok um, create another layer on top of it fill it with black uh, now create another layer on top of the black layer and within this layer we are going to create the pixel perfect arrow and uh, now we are going to click in here the rectangle marquee now simply draw a line a pixel 10 pixel is up to you but we are going to make it to one pixel right so is going to be a pixel perfect arrow it looks precise and neat and clean and looks really amazing in these sliders so it is going to height would be 50 pixel in this case and and the width would be anything you know but we're going to squeeze this to 10 one pixel now now that we have created a um my key Rectangular, rectangular marquee using this tool now that we have created a uh, rectangular box in here and we're going to fill it with white color pressing V going back to the move tool now I'm going to zoom it to 500 pixel now click in here to show transform control now that we have the bounding box in surrounding the white rectangular box now we are going to squeeze this to one pixel there you go this is how you create one pixel line and we are going to use it in our we are going to make it make arrow using it and we'll be using the one pixel pixel perfect arrow for our sliders or web projects now when you take the, the take, take your mouse to the top of the bounding box when you have the curve shape in there just click once you get the angle option in here I'm going to put 35 degree press ok check uncheck this box now go back to 100% view press command D to deselect so there is our pixel perfect part of the arrow now we're going to create a complete arrow by coming back to the layer right click on it duplicate layer press ok in the edit menu in the transform flip vertical now we are going to press the arrow buttons of the keyboards the bottom one especially for quite a few, a few times to adjust the position precisely now that we have our arrows lines are in place and that makes a beautiful pixel perfect arrow now we are going to select command we have this layer is selected already now i'm pressing command on mac and selecting this layer as well and command e to emerge now that we have our fully functional arrow now we're going to create and the arrow before we do that we're going to name it left arrow and 
and simply put it to the right place. It's eleven forty-five. Looks okay. And um, now double uh, right, but right click on it on this layer, double click layer, and give it a name, right arrow, and going back to edit menu, transform, flip horizontal. So there is our pixel perfect arrow sitting on there in the black on the on the black surface. One more time, I'm going to just simply taking it to the middle position. Looks okay. Now um, I'm going to take the right arrow visibility off, taking the black they are off i'm going to save it we have our left arrow sitting in there now we're going to save it save as uh, save it as png okay now click on the right arrow take the visibility off from the left arrow now that we have our right arrow is in position now we're going to save it file save as right arrow save it as a png file save replace it no problem so now that now we have our complete fully functional uh, pixel perfect arrow and we can we, this is ready to be used in in our projects with image slider and other stuff um, this is the navigation I'm working in working on and uh, so this is the final version of the pixel perfect arrow I can right away I can use it in my file in here simply show you just drag in here right one in the right place and simply duplicate this file edit Flip horizontal. There we go. Looks okay. Yep. So this is how you create pixel perfect arrow in Photoshop CS6. I uh, hope it helps and you enjoy learning from my tutorials. And please do share with others if it comes in handy and helps you for in your projects and other work you may, you may involve in maybe in designing typography or wh whatever you know um, please do subscribe and do comments so that how can I upgrade my tutorial or uh, if you if you have any um, any specific demand for learning stuff and in that way I can increase my creativity by supporting you and then I learn also so thank you for watching please uh, do uh, give a thumbs up if you like it and please do share with us thanks for watching take care bye